Good morning, everyone. This is Dana from NextGen, and I hope everyone has had a fantastic weekend. Um, today, I would like to talk about some ways that we could take care of our mind, body, and spiritual health. When I think about taking care of my mind, body, and spiritual health, I start with connecting with my faith community. Now, there have been times, especially within the last few years, that that may have been a challenge. So whether you do it online or in person, um, connecting with your faith community, I think, would be very important. And it was very important for me. Connecting with my faith community actually led me into volunteering. Now, um, I think for me, volunteering was taking my eyes off myself and helping others. So that was my way of giving back and it actually helped me. So whether I worked in a food pantry, um, became a mentor, tutored, fostered an animal or actually worked in one of those animal shelters. I think that I grew when I connected with my community and connected with like-minded people because I think that helping others gave me a sense of purpose and gratitude. I did not find out about yoga or actually engaged in yoga until maybe about 10 years ago. And I tell you, there are so many benefits to yoga. Now, if you've not done so before, I highly recommend it. And I, it was beneficial for me to do it in person. And then that way I made sure that I was doing the poses correctly and making sure I was doing my breathing. And of course, um, when I was doing some research on yoga, I found out that it helped mind and my spirit and it helped me reduce um, stress, um, depression, and even anxiety. So check out yoga if you've not done so already. And if you have, I would love to see in the comment section how it's benefited you. Since I've retired, I've looked for so many hobbies that I've never done before and even um, revived some of the hobbies that I had done previously. So that could be um, knitting. They even have adult coloring books. Can you believe it? Um, cooking, learning new dishes, um, playing a new sport or playing a sport that I played before, working out. So there's just so many things that I found that I can do to, help, again, help me have a sense of purpose and keep me focused in the moment. In addition to the hobbies, I actually started um, journaling. And I've done a whole lot of that since I have been retired and um, went out and got a bunch of um, stationery, things that I felt was important to me. So keeping a journal, it helped me process my emotion, it increased my awareness, and it gave me a non-judgmental space to express my feelings. So what I would do on uh, um, the journals that I started this year is I felt like just write down what the issue is, and then after I wrote it down, leave it there and forget it. And then that was the end of it. Also, I used the journal to write down positive things as well. So, and I did some videos on um, my journaling um, journey, if you will. So I'll leave that um, up at the top in the card. And I'll also include it in the description below. But if you haven't done so, get into journaling. Now, for me, meditating is one of the most inexpensive and rewarding things I can do. Go outside. Um, as I said, we started doing our walks um, in March. So we 
had cooler, nicer weather, if you will. We were outside. We enjoyed nature. I mean, even if you go outside by yourself and just sit and be quiet and be mindful, um, you can walk, you can sit, just um, be mindful of what's going on around you and practice slowing your body down and slowing your brain down. Something else that I found very helpful, and that was speaking to someone that I trust. And I'm pretty much talking about a professional that is specially trained in whatever challenge I may be having. And if um, you've been on this channel for a while, you know that we've actually done some interviews with some professionals, and I'll leave that also in the card above. So one of the things, uh, another thing that was helpful in my mind, body, and spiritual health was speaking with someone that I trusted. Thank you again for stopping by. I hope this information was beneficial to you. Just sharing some ways that I am taking care of my mind, body, and spiritual health. And I'm sure there are some other ways that I can do it. And I would also love to see some of the ideas that you may have in the comment section. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead, like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so. And I will talk to you next week.